In the early 1980s, Ella began to experience heart problems, the result both of her weight and busy touring schedule. I was really concerned because Ella was only going in for a valve replacement and then when they opened her up, she actually had, which is a valve replacement is more serious than bypass. She had quintuple bypass surgery, so she had five um, um, bypasses in addition to the valve. She was not a young woman. And um, they had canceled all the contracts. They had told everybody that uh, she wasn't going to be working again. But as Ella began her convalescence, irrepressible jazz scholar Phil Schapp was combing the vaults. Hey, man, I just found these cool tapes, man. Look what I did. He'd uncovered one of Ella's greatest performances, her birthday concert in 1958. These tapes did, in fact, contain a masterpiece. It was discovered in time to do something for her. That record gave her the final, you know, last hurrah. 50 years after Artistic Atasket, she had another number one record, the Ellen Rome, the birthday concert. That's what got her going after her operation. She wanted to go back on the stage. She couldn't do anything else but sing. That was her life. Once in a while, will you try to give one little thought to me? Being back on stage, where she'd spent so much of her life, had an extra poignancy for Ella. For a number of years, she'd been discreetly using her royalties to fund projects for underprivileged children. Moments before we two drifted apart. She found a way of addressing something that she shut away. A kind of healing, perhaps to be able to go back to that life she had as a child and to put some of the things right that weren't done right for her. I know that I'll be contented with yesterday's memories Knowing you'll think of me Ella had been diagnosed with diabetes. In the early 1990s, complications resulted in her eventually having both legs amputated below the knee. I figured, well, I wonder why she's in a wheelchair. And I went down to kiss her, and I noticed she didn't have one leg, and I thought, well, maybe she's sitting on it. She said, look at what they've done. They've taken my leg from me. And you know, I had, I had to say, you know, Ella, I, I, you know, I'm so sorry, and... She said, but there's nothing wrong with my throat. I'm not singing with my legs. There we were. She had no, she was ready to go on. Don't you see, that was her life. Soon or late, maybe. After many years of distance between them, Ella's adopted son, Ray Jr., returned to be at her side. Her doctor said, uh, you need to come home. Actually, what he said was, your mother has between 8 and 15 months to live. Getting back closer together, it's sort of easy to selfishly look at things uh, that, you know, I didn't have this, I didn't have that. 
the main thought that I had was uh, I wanted her to be at home 